Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, if you guys weren't here last night, uh, we had a small presentation by the Gypsy Vanners. It's a special kind of horse. You may have seen them in uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, they're in part of the draft horse or Clydesdale family, but they're known for their style and their beauty. And Sandy will be coming in uh, riding uh, uh, Gypsy Stallion Copper Flame. And I think we are ready for them whenever she's ready. Whenever she's ready. <laughs> 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 and for those of you with clan banners, if you wouldn't mind just raising the banner up and salute to the bride as she comes, that would be fantastic. Even got some pipers go with it. I do want to tell you a little bit about the horse that uh, Sandy's coming on. It's a gypsy gelding, Tiernanog, and gypsy mare, uh, McFloyne's of uh, McFloyne's gypsies. Uh, Brian and Dedek McBean own McFloyne's gypsies right here in Moab. And Patty Nelson is the owner of uh, Tuatha de Gypsies in Salt Lake. The man who discovered the breed and brought them to the United States, Dennis Thompson, was kind enough to write something to say. But here comes Sandy. I'm going to turn the microphone over to Randy Rauch, who is going to perform the ceremony. Come on in. Sandy and Daryl, since your paths have crossed in this life, you have formed an eternal and sacred bond. As you seek to enter this state of matrimony, you should strive to make real the ideals to, that to you give meaning to this ceremony and to this institution of marriage. With full awareness, know that within this ceremony, you not, are not only declaring your intent to be handfasted before your friends and family, but you speak that intent also to your creative higher powers. The promises made today and the ties that are bound here today greatly strengthen your union and will cross the years and lives of each of your souls. Do you still seek to enter this ceremony? We do. We do. In many cultures it is believed that the human soul shares characteristics with all things divine. It is this belief which assigns virtues to the four cardinal directions, east, south, west, and north. It is according to this belief that we align ourselves with these elements. Each of these blessings from the four cardinal directions emphasizes those things which help you build a happy and successful union. I invite Daryl and Sandy to face each direction together as they will face every joy and trial together. As friends, family, guests, and witnesses, we invite everyone to face each of the four directions with them. Please face east. 
Blessed be this union with the gifts of the East and the element of air, for openness and breath, communication of the heart, and purity of the mind and body. From the East you receive the gift of a new beginning with the rising of each sun, and the understanding that each day is a new opportunity for growth. Please turn and face the South. Blessed be this union with the gifts of the South and the element of fire for energy, passion, creativity, and the warmth of a loving home. From the fire within, you generate light, which you will share with one another in even the darkest of times. Please turn and face west. Blessed be this union with the gifts of the west, the element of water, for your capacity to feel emotion. In marriage, you offer absolute trust to one another and vow to keep your hearts open in sorrow as well as joy. Please turn and face north. Blessed be this union with the gifts of the north, the element of earth, which provides sustenance, fertility, and security. The earth will feed and enrich you and help you to build a stable home to which you may always return. Face me, please. Daryl and Sandy, I bid you look into each other's eyes. Will you honor and respect one another, place no other before your union, and seek to never break that honor? the first binding is made. Will you share each other's pain and seek to ease it, as water eases thirst, that your union may flow and fill you and replace my any heartache with joy. Will you share both the highs and lows of this life and work it and the ease, the happiness and the tears, so that each of your spirits may grow in wisdom and insight? Well. Will you share each other's laughter, passion, and look for the brightness in life and positive in each other? And so the binding is made. Sandy and Daryl, as your hands are bound together now, so your lives and spirits are joined in a union of love and trust. Above you are the stars, and below you is the earth. Like the stars, your love should be a constant source of light, and like the earth, a firm foundation from which to grow. You will now be known as husband and wife before God, family, friends, and the state. You may solemnize this union with a kiss. The reality of tying the knot. Not so easily undone. For real. Only <laughs> piece of paper. Oh. Lovely. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
going to split it down the middle here. We actually have a Highland Honor Guard ready for them. They'll be honeymooning here in fabulous Moab. And you can go over and pay your respects over at the Clan McFarland tent.